Hello, my name is Brett from Blue Altitude. Today I'm going to give you like a preview or a taster for what the course content looks like for part camo overview and therefore give you a better maybe feel to understand whether that course is applicable to you or not. So like every course we deliver, we always think about the aim, objectives and the out learning outcomes. So the aim of this course really, and we've identified three main aims, Firstly, is to give you a bit of a brief overview of what the regulation looks like. The second one is we're going to highlight some of the differences between the part M and the part camo, because there are significant differences and you need to get your head around that. Maybe be aware of that, that within your current organization, there may be some sort of gaps uh, from what the part camo requirements are. And then the third thing really is we're going to give you maybe some sort of further guidance or some sort of signposting that would help you identify or determine any gaps within your organization to help you through the transition process. So the objectives of course really is that we're going to briefly discuss some of the topics and really focus on this new approach, this maybe risk-based thinking or risk-based performance. However, we want to frame that because we need to think about now moving from part M to part camo is this safety risk management system that we need to have in place. And that needs to be effective in what we're doing. We'll look at some of the training considerations and also think about some other aspects of the regulation which is slightly different. So the learning outcomes then really, hopefully by the end of that course, you'll have a bit more of a greater overview, a bit more knowledge and a bit more understanding of what the re regulation requirements are to help support you within your aviation role within your own organization. That's the idea. If you have any sort of questions about whether you think the course is either right for you or unsure, then please either give us a call on the number showing, email us, and we're happy to help. Or if you like, go to our website, hit the contact us page, hit your question, and then we'll be gladly try and answer that for you. That's it. Thank you very much for your time.